guys, welcome back to Sparky Face 5. This is the first of a three part mini series on how to print with two or more colours using a single extruder machine. Today we're going to have a look at the first of the three techniques, which is the most common one, to make this gift tag that was designed by ABuzz Designs. So there's a couple of things we have to do here first. You can see this was designed for dual extrusion. So the first thing we need to do is to align the origins of the two models so they sit in the right place uh, to de together and combined. Um, then we need to select both of those models and we're going to export it as a single binary STL. Change the name. Uh, I put here combined so I know that it's a single. And then we bring the new one onto the build platform and we can actually just get rid of the uh, initial design. So that makes it all one piece, it's no longer separated, we don't have to worry about uh, extra processes or anything like that. Next up what we have to do is uh, using the cross section viewer is work out where we want to be changing our filaments. Uh, it's important to work this out, you can do it from the main view but I also find it really useful to click into the, uh, the actual G-code preview because then you can see what the top layers and the sections are that you're intersecting. So here I've got 1.7 I think it says there. Um, it is important to note if you're using a global offset, which I am, you'll have to add your global offset number to where you're looking on the LCD screen or in the machine control for the right layer uh, to swap at. I've written down where in millimetres I need the head to be when I want to pause it. I'm just checking my settings now to make sure everything's good. I definitely want to infill and um, we don't need any support material for this. And there's the preview, so that's all good. Have a quick look down. You can see it's all one piece and all we're going to do here is just pause the print part way through, change the filament out, resume the print and uh, do that as many times as we need. And that's that's just the, the very basics of, of this particular technique. If you'd like to support the channel, you can. Every dollar you do counts. And it helps me bring more content and get materials to make more models and do more experiments and more fun things. Print all of the things. Thanks, guys. To see some other things that you can do with this particular technique, I encourage you to go visit Andrew at 3D Central on YouTube. I have a link to his channel just here. And he shows off some great things that you can do that goes uh, a bit further in depth with this layering technique. Stay tuned for the next video coming soon where I go into the second two colours one extruder video. Ciao!